Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Cube Escape Paradox. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through Chapter 1. I'm not going to show you any achievements in this video. I'll save that for another one. Enjoy! <coughs>
All right, we'll come over here. So you can't pull that without the handle. So attach the handle and now pull it down. So there's two ways to set this up. So first pull it down so the X lines up with that picture and the bird cage, the top of the bird cage. So notice also that when it's lined up with the X, that V is circled, or five, Roman numeral five. Um, that's important, remember the X. Then if you pull it down so that the mirror is lined up, you get a dot in the mirror and IV is circled. Also take the photo. So remember that V is X, IV is dot. All right, so come back. Find the clock. So notice the clock, the hour hand has a dot on it and the minute hand has an X. So remember, the X was uh, IV. So the X was V, right? The X was V and the dot was IV. The dot matches. All right. While you're here, let's place the cassette in the cassette player. Mr. Vandermeer, please tell me about your dream. I was watching TV. It was me on the screen. But I looked different, more real. And then I said, Enin Xis Xis Lenach. Did I talk backwards? Alright, so take it back. So, those three numbers that you said, you need to read them backwards. And it then says, Channel. 669. Okay? It was because he said this this Lanach, which is channel 669. Come over here. First, we need to give him, we need to light his cigar. Okay? Now tap on him and memorize these symbols. All right, there's five symbols. Once you have them all, we're gonna go back here. Oops. All right, first off, Add the photo. All right, so now we're here. Um, so, those five symbols, do you remember them? I do, so even if you don't, you can just copy me. Or you can go back to the mirror and look at them again. It's up to you. So, this is how it goes. Should be taking the long way around for each. Oh, there we go. All right, now we have tape. So next, we can finally use the TV. Fix the cable. All right, now turn on the TV and remember, what was the channel? 669. Press play. Channel 12. Okay, so channel 12. Channel 67. Channel 67. Apple.
place of relaxation, a place to empty the mind, reflect in the past and the future. What? The lake. All right, so the lake is the answer. He just told you the answer to that question. A place to empty the mind, reflect on the past and the future. So type. Uh, let's continue over here. All right, so the book's on the shelf. 
we already got the order we have them so it goes like this if you need help if I'm going too fast or you're not understanding uh, I explained it soul the shadow the he, i call him so many things so let's play it again just so you can see all right you got that so look back at the book uh the slides rather so it goes first Oh, it keeps doing that itself. That's why I was thinking that. Okay. Uh, Mr. Crow has that upside down T. He's first. Then you, Vandermeer, are Z. Then Laura is the triangle with a line through it. Then the vial is a square with a line through it. And then the corrupted ghost, corrupted soul, is S. All right, so let's go over here. You know the drill with this already. And put in those symbols in that order. It might be easier to follow along on my website, honestly, uh, if you get stuck, but. There we go. Globe key. All right. All right, so we have to map our path. This shows you where you're going, what your view should look like. So here we have the house. We're on Roots Island. House to the right, mountains to the left. So that looks like that. Tap on it to go to the next scene. And we have trees on the right, mountains to the left. So that looks like that. This next one I'm not a big fan of because you're actually going past both of them, not through them. It shows the mountains on the right and the trees on the left, but you're going past, so they should both be on the left, from what it lo looks like to me. 
Um, unless the X, it's possible the floating X is an iceberg. It's a little confusing. Uh, that wasn't my favorite spot. Um, okay, the next, you have Dark Town on the left. So it goes like this. Then you have the theater on the right and Dark Town on the left. Now you're going between the house and mountains. Now you have the house on the left. So now you're going towards like an iceberg or something. I don't know. That's what those little islands are, I guess. And now, to the left, you have the cabin, and to the right, that little town on an island. Here you have this narrow passageway, canal. All right, windmill to the right, trees to the left. Here you're heading towards mountains. And here you're just going past the Rusty Lake Hotel, see on the left. There you go. Again, I have it on my site. I mapped it out for you. If you missed it, open it up. Take the note and the glass. All right, while we're here, let's do a few things. You could light this. It says fire. There's an image of fire. And that has grass on it, or a leaf rather, so you can drop those leaves in. Okay, now tap on this a few times. Break it and get the hook. Tap on this a few times, or tap on the caterp caterpillar. I'll eat the leaves and turn into moth. We still need water for the water one. All right. So then, add the newspaper clipping. All right. So we've got four. Still need one more. And also fill up the glass with water from that jar. Okay? Don't do the water yet though. Come over here. See the moth? See like a bunch of larvae, worms, or something. You can get rid of those if you want. Alright. Um, over here. And now we have everything we need to get the glass eye. Start with the water. Add the string. And then the hook. And now... Switch it out! So now we have the glass eye. Alright. Let's go back. And add it. Okay, so notice this mass of black dots looks like the deer skull, so drag it to it. Now it looks like the clock, and now it looks like the typewriter, and now it looks like the TV. Those go the wrong way. Now it looks like the door. <laughs> really bad. And now it looks like the mirror. Oh my god. Okay, tap on the mirror. Tap on all the black dots. Ah! Ah! Alright. So, this is a fun puzzle. Okay. So, this is how it works. You press this dot, this circle, to zoom out, and you press this, zoom in. Alright? Uh, rather, this is zoom in, and then you get near a photo to zoom it back out. Uh, first off, drag this yellow square over here, and now zoom in. Walk to the corrupted soul and interact. 
and then come this way. Nothing happens here, but zoom out. All right, next, drag this here and this one here. What just happened? Uh, there. I don't know, this might be an achievement or something on Steam here. But there he is. There's more achievements on Steam, unfortunately. All right, next set. I'm going to pull this gray one. over here. Don't do anything yet. Just leave. Alright, now you're going to drag um, that. Okay. So pretty much same setup boom. Knock this glass over. And then zoom out. All right, so this next one, you're going to need to pull your square over here. And that's it. It's just one move. Flip the switch. Now the water's out. And now drag the gray square to the right of you. Let's, let's do this. That should do it. Oh no. All right, we have to do that. Now we can. All right, now. Uh let's get back out of here. And, all right, here's what we have to do. Go into the elevator down. Okay, submarine. Head left. out of there and we're just about done
down T. C is a square with a line through it. D is the triangle with a line through it. And then E is the S. So if you put them in order, you get triangle, upside down T, circle, S, square, based on this. Going D is first, B is second, A is third, E is fourth. All right. So come here, triangle, and we do it the long way. Oh. All right, take the cassette. It's Harvey's song. Go. Play Harvey's song. glass cube or you can keep listening to the music and not grab the cube all right place the cube and the red vial remember it said not to drink the blue vial but the red vial is fine so we're ready drink the blue vial, the red vial drink the red vial we only have the red vial. Uh oh. Coughed up the key. Alright. Use the key to get out of here. And follow the crow. All the crow. Sorry about the noise outside. Oh, it's Mr. Crow. Did you make the right choice? Did we? All right, take the map from him. And now take a look at the map. So look where we are. There's three X's on the map, okay? So we're going to make our way back to those X's. Um, you can look at my site. I have the maps if you want to not have to keep looking at it on in the game. Uh, so this is how it goes. Left, left. Alright, you see this rock? So now you have to follow that. And it's going to take you to something. I'll show you. So, again, you can follow it on my map, if you, on my website if you want. It goes like this. All right, we got a crow statue. So now let's look at the map, make our way to the next X. All right, so here we go. We are there. We need to go right. So right. Right. Down. Down. 
Uh oh, there's blood. Left. Tap on him again. Left again. Down. Left. There's another rock. All right. So, follow this rock to another spot. He's there, and now you got the woman statue. All right, now, third X is a long way around, okay? So, where are we? All right, so here we have this corrupted soul. What you need to do to stop him, I believe, is to tap on the circles. There you go. So you just tap on the circle. I don't know if you saw it. Hopefully you did. All right, so here we are. Let's make our way to the X. Here is another rock. You just saw it though, so it's right, then down, then right, then right, and there it is. All right, let's look at the map. Now we're gonna get to that cross, okay? So. Pretty easy, just keep going. And there's a wall. Place all three. And go through. So that